Oracle eBusiness Suite is a complex set of integrated software applications which customers rely on to run their key business operations. Most customers have hundreds or thousands of customizations to fulfill the unique needs of their business. These customizations are implemented with Java, SQL, Forms, Reports, concurrent programs, and many other types of components. Many customers are managing the deployment of these customizations manually across large development organizations. Others are using third-party tools from large software vendors to obtain them through acquisitions. The investment stopped and they have become shelfware and lack support for modern-day DevOps concepts that customers expect. In this video, you will learn how FlexDeploy's native solution for Oracle eBusiness Suite knocks down the barriers to delivering software faster and with less cost and risk. Return the focus to innovation and reduce the overhead of operational mechanics that competes with increasing business demands. The XXHR project represents a custom top for the EBS HR module. The customizations for this project are stored in GitHub. Although there is support for many other popular source control systems, such as GitLab, Bitbucket, and Subversion, the files have been automatically discovered into the file catalog, and we can see that there are 37 files. As files are added to source control, they will be automatically discovered into the catalog. We can see that there are a variety of file types, including SQL, AOLs, OAF Java, XML Publisher, and more. By clicking on a file, we can view the collected metadata, which includes the target path of where the file will be delivered on the EBS server, and the command which is generated to deploy it. The deployment command is generated using Oracle-defined standards, but configuration can be used to adjust for deviations which may exist in your implementation. In this example, we have a SQL file which is recognized to be a package body, and we can see that it is copied to the EBS server and deployed and compiled using the SQL Plus client. In the case of an AOL object, we can see that the metadata includes the type of the object and the control program which is required to upload the data. The generated deploy command uses the FND load program to load it. FlexDeploy recognizes and understands the diverse set of EBS components, how to interpret them, and how to deploy them. We can now create a package and add files from the catalog. In this example, we have the Glory 55 package, which represents a feature in our current sprint. As part of this new feature, we need to modify two SQL files, a form, and a concurrent program. The four files have been added to the package from the file catalog. The changes have been pushed by the developer to the GitHub repository. We can automate the build request using continuous integration, but here we will submit the build request manually. Drilling into the execution, we can see the build steps being executed. The files are implicitly cloned from the Git branch, and the EBS plugin is used to assemble the files into a zip file and version it within the FlexDeploy artifact repository. The files tab provides the details of the artifact, including the revision numbers from the source control system. The artifact can now be deployed into one or more EBS instances. To deploy, we can simply submit a request and choose the target environment. The deploy workflow is now running, and we can see the executing steps. The logs for the deployment provide the details of the commands which are executed to deploy the files in the package, allowing us to debug any issues which may arise. The Files tab also provides the deployment status for each file in the package. Here we can see that the deployment for the two SQL files and the concurrent program were successful, but the deployment for the form failed with the compilation issue. Eliminate the tedious process of creating MD120 documents as instructions to the DBA. Accelerate software delivery by removing latency associated to manual activities and handoffs. Avoid inevitable mistakes with a repeatable process. In this video, we learned about FlexDeploy's native support for Oracle eBusiness Suite and how customizations are discovered from source control and organized into a file catalog. We explored how packages are assembled, built, and deployed across the EBS environments. We also reviewed how automation and traceability adds efficiency and promotes faster software delivery with less cost and risk. Thanks for watching.